Okay. Uh, I'm not going to go into why, but this car's been sitting with us for about, oh, 10 years now or so. All right. So with that being said, so what we've got here is, uh, to my knowledge, is a fully built 6G72. Uh, I think the only thing that I did was I pulled the motor out of a wrecked one and threw it in here, and then it's kind of been dead in the water since. So the car is in pretty decent shape. It's hella dusty. Hella dusty. And for the record, so whoever's watching this, I absolutely effing hate these cars. I hate these cars. I can't even say like how much I hate it. So I've already, I kind of did some preemptive stuff to this already. So what we're doing is we're pulling the harness out to do a fuel tech install. So I've uh, coated myself completely in dust, but I've got a lot of things unplugged. I've got the intake manifold already loose. So we're gonna go ahead and pop that up and start pulling the rest of the harness out. Um, there's a couple connections here and there. So I may have to remove some of this charge piping to get to it. So uh, we'll get started. And just to give you an idea how dusty this thing is, here's the battery that came out of the car. Look at that modern day archaeologist here so as you can tell the car's been sitting for a hot minute so let's go ahead and get started pulling everything out all right so harness is partially pulled out what a complete pain in the ass so this is the ecu side of it there's this connector that sits underneath the center console here this one is also on the other side of the center console this wire is grounded to the center console and it runs across this little plastic piece. Um, sorry. So this plastic piece sits against this corner, but there's a metal frame that goes underneath here. Uh, that's got a couple, there's like four screws in it. You remove that whole plate and this harness makes it out to here. Uh, the next problem that I'm having is that there's a couple of mystery plugs underneath the dash. Um, there's, as you can see, there's this one that's unplugged right now. And there's a few more under the dash that I'm trying to get to, but my sausage fingers just do not allow. So I'm gonna try to unplug these. Uh, and I don't know if I've ever mentioned, but I hate these cars. So uh, there's that, just wanna put that in there. Uh, but yeah, so we're gonna work on unplugging these and then see if we can pull the harness out from the inside. All right, so this is the back side of the glove box here. Uh, there's this mystery connector here. I don't know what it's for, but it's part of the engine harness. It's sitting right below the air vent dash for some reason. Um, this one, fortunately enough, does not need to get unplugged. This goes to like the chassis harness or something. Um, so we're going to go and try to pull the harness out. Hopefully it pulls out. Uh, I just want to mention that I hate these cars. All right, so we got the harness out. Um, there were, I thought there was only one mystery plug, but there's actually, there was three total um, that were all in the corner of the dash right there. Once we were able to start tugging on the harness, you could see like it was still getting caught on something and that's how I found it. So I'll shoot that here in a second. And we had to release all the uh, brake lines here because it got in the way of this. So we took a handful of bolts out and we were able to shift it around. And here we are inside the car. The mystery harnesses were right here i know it's hard to see but they're right th so there's one connector that connects the lower harness to the rest of the engine harness that's this connector right here um as you can see it's also falling apart but it's this uh yellow black wire and it goes to this red wire on the lower harness so okay so just a quick overview while it's all fresh in my mind this connector is going to the center console um, this is the main relay harness these three are obviously the ecu harness this ground went on the center console these are the four mystery plugs here so these are the three behind the dash this one's by the ac vent and then the rest of this obviously is all engine harness type stuff that we're probably not well we're not really using actually 